In less than two minutes, I'll show you how to easily define variables by using a name instead of the actual value. For this example, I want to define a variable called sales tax. The first step is to go to the formulas tab. Once there, I'll click on define name. For the name, I'll enter sales tax as one word because there cannot be spaces in the variable name. For the scope field, I can choose to make this variable available on the entire workbook or just on the current worksheet. For the comment field, I could add additional information that may be of help to anyone else who may use this workbook. Next, for the refers to field, you could enter the cell where the value is, or you could enter the value directly into this field. I'll enter 13%. I'll click OK, and we're now ready to use the variable. Let's say I want to determine the sales tax on a purchase of $100. I'll start with equals, and then I'll put in a value of 100, and then the multiply symbol. Then, I'll add the sales tax variable and complete the formula. If you use certain values like tax rates often in your work, this is where variables can really help speed up your workflow. And, if you ever need to edit your variables, it's really easy to do. In the Formula tab, you can click on Name Manager and then double-click on the variable you need to edit. You can then make the change and click Enter, and it will update any formulas in your document that use that variable. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.